P3-38 is in millimeters. We have uh, fillets and rounds of 5 millimeters, so we'll identify those kind of on the interior sections. When I look at this shape, kind of notice this uh, this profile. Uh, we have the, uh, the four slots, and those could be mirrored, um, might be um, might be helpful to have this on the uh, the mid plane so we'll kind of develop that geometry and see how it goes all right so new part millimeter um, our orientation we'll sketch in the front plane and then just starting the uh, the shape we'll go up over down and i saw a vertical there but the Uh, the second line did not pick up, or as near as I could tell, did not pick up uh, a coincident or a collinear. So that being the case, I'm going to go back and add the collinear, and then we're ready to set our uh, set our dimensions. So basically, the collinear uh, picking the two lines, or if we picked uh, a point and one of the lines, we'd be a coincident. Picking the two points would be a horizontal. So kind of being able to work with what you have available. All right, so eight millimeters on the thickness, and we're still eight millimeters. So if that's always going to be eight, eight, and eight, then I can control select. All right, so so that one happened to get the midpoint. So I'm gonna try again. Select, hold down the control button. Select the other two, and then come over to the Add Relations, make them equal. And then that will control the thickness of all of the uh, the rest of the geometry. So 35 on the height, and overall of 70. We have um, an overall of 40 on the horizontal and then uh, positioning looks like this one is 21 so that kind of shifts it back that gets me to a fully defined sketch and then we'll go into the features extrude boss base picking my end condition to be mid plane we have an overall of 100 millimeters all right so when I um, open up the sketch on one of the faces, I'll go ahead with the, uh, the center line, vertical, infinite length, and place it on the origin. Get out of that and go into the select. So one of the things with the, uh, the arcs, or sort of an knob round, is let's, um, let's do this both ways. Is sometimes I just want the, uh, the rectangle and I'll do a tangent arc coming off of the uh, the rectangle and instead of losing the third line deleting it I'm going to just switch it over to construction All right so that'll give me a 12 millimeter wide slot and have a depth of 14 millimeters All right the other option then and we'll space these out in a minute is to go into the slot tool and I want a straight slot um, as opposed to the center point so that I can put one on the uh, the edge and then drag the uh, the slot out and then it would be same thing 12 millimeter on the width or six millimeters since I already have the um, the dimension I'll just set those to equal and might as well go ahead and well, let's do the uh, the center points those can be horizontal and then the point in the line would be coincident. All right, so uh, one of those two will uh, will work, and we're going to the center. So I want to pick the circle. So a twenty, and then between the uh, the two is a twenty. Right, and then I should be able to pick the slot. And when I select the slot, the advantage here is that it is everything. Hold down the control button, and I am right-clicking on the line so that I can select the chain. 
which does the same thing, picks everything connected to that object. One more hold down the control, and then I can select the, um, uh, the center line to perform the mirror. The other option is just to go ahead and go from right to left, make sure the, uh, the center line's in that mix, and mirror the entities. Uh, there is a center line contained in the slot. So that being the case, I can deselect if I can't really de de detail it. So mirror about, and then we're going to switch over to our geometry. Oh yeah, I created a center line over here as well. So there's a couple in there. As soon as I have multiple center lines, that means that I have to pick. All right, so you could do all of um, all of the slots. We could create a pattern. Um, we could do all of the uh, the rectangular kind of notches and um, uh, duplicate, uh, copy and paste those geometries. There's a couple of uh, I like everything. There's always a couple ways to um, uh, to get the geometry going. So extrude cut, and we'll just take it uh, up to next or through all. So through all, we'll find the back face. And if I were to go up to next, it's just going to terminate at the back side of that uh, that wall. So my next geometry will be at the um, the face. And I kind of draw that one on purpose away from the edge so that I can right click and select its midpoint and then control select the edge and tell it midpoint to midpoint. All right, so once I'm at midpoint, that kind of takes care of the coincidence portion. And we're 60 millimeters long and 10 millimeters deep. And again, I don't need all of the dimensions because the relation took care of that. But if I apply it, I'm going to see that it adds up to 20. And I can leave that dimension driven. Then the extension lines will be in that lighter gray. And the um, dimensions that I can actually edit will stay in the darker, um, the darker shade. So extrude cut. We'll give it a through all. And again, the through all versus the up to next. I think through all is about as easy because it's higher on the list. But if we stay with the up to next, it's just going to find that next terminating surface. So really the um, be aware of the up to next because if there was geometry stacked this uh, this way or to the, to the front on our cut, then the through all would find its way through everything. And we may just want it to stop at the next uh, next wall. All right, so our radiuses, looks like we have an inside and an outside. I don't see anything on the interior, so pretty much control selecting the two insides. And we'll apply the, uh, the fillet at a radius of five and accept. And then control seven, we'll save it. and be ready to move into the next uh, project.